क्लास सेवेंथ चैप्टर नंबर सिक्स टाउन ट्रेडर्स एंड क्राफ्ट पर्सनस वट वुड अ ट्रैवलिंग विजिटिंग अ मेडिएबल टाउन एक्सपेक्ट टू फाइंड दिस वुड डिपेंड ऑन वट काइंड ऑफ अ टाउन इट वॉज अ टेम्पल टाउन एन एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव सेंटर अ कॉमर्शियल टाउन और अ पोर्ट टाउन टू नेम जस्ट सम पॉसिबिलिटीज इन फैक्ट मेनी टाउन्स कंबाइंड सेवरल फंक्शंस they were administrative centers temple towns as well as centers of commercial activities and craft production administrative centers you read about the chola dynasty in chapter 2 let's travel in our imagination to thanjavur the capital of the cholas as it was a thousand years ago the perennial river kaveri flows near this beautiful town one hears the bells of the raja rajeshwara temple built by king raja raja chola the town's people are all praised for its architect kunjar malan raja raja perun thachan who has proudly carved his name on the temple wall inside is a massive shivling besides the temple there are palaces with mandapas or pavilions kings hold court in these mandapas issuing orders to their subordinates there are also barracks for the army the town is bustling with markets selling grain spices cloth and jewelry water supply for the town comes from wells and tanks the salia weavers of thanjavur and the nearby town of urayur are busy producing cloth for flax to be used in the temple festival fine cottons for the king and nobility and coarse cotton for the masses some distance away at swami malai the sthapatis or sculptures are making exquisite bronze idols and tall ornamental bell metal lamps temple towns and pilgrimage centers Thanjavur is also an example of a temple town. Temple towns represent a very important pattern of urbanization. The process by which cities develop, temples were often central to the economy and society. Rulers built temples to demonstrate their devotion to various deities. They also endowed temples with with grants of land and money to carry out elaborate rituals, feed pilgrims and priests and celebrated festivals pilgrims who flocked to the temples also made donations temples authorities used their wealth to finance trade and banking gradually a large number of priests workers artisans traders etc settled near the temple to cater to its needs and those of the pilgrims thus grew temple towns towns emerged around temples such as those of bhilla swamin bhilsa or vidisha in madhya pradesh and somnath in gujarat other important temple towns included kanchipuram and madurai in tamil nadu and tirupati in andhra pradesh pilgrimage centers also slowly developed into township vrindavan uttar pradesh and tiruvannamalai tamil nadu are examples of two such towns ajmer rajasthan was the capital of the chauhan kings in the 12th century and later became the suba headquarters under the mughals it provides an excellent example of religious coexistence khwaja moinuddin chisti the celebrated sufi saint who settled there in the 12th century attracted devotees from all creeds near ajmer is a lake pushkar which has attracted pilgrims from ancient times